What's going on guys? This time in the spirit of trying something new and getting zesty by pushing boundaries, we decided to load two bikes up and take a motorcycle trip up north to the Sequoia National Forest mountain range. Ready to make some news. Ah, oh, they look good. And making an appearance again on the channel, the creation of perfection himself. My father is going to be my riding buddy for this trip. You want to tie a sock around it? I got some, some yeah. cachetinas. It's a four hour drive from Riverside up to the Sequoia National Forest. Hey, so we fueled up to have energy for conversations like this. You got right here, they're nice to be riding. You could build a nice jump right there. Shit, yeah, it's already built. Bop, just, bop. All you gotta do is just call that. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you ever get a chance, we go. No. <laughs> no, I'm oh, talking about Central. <laughs> talking about the mountains. Go to. Uh, Colorado, from California to Colorado to Denver. Just pulled up to Bakersfield. That's the hotel we're staying at. Man, this, this place looks exactly like, like Burbank or San Bernardino or something. Hopefully the mountains look different. Shouldn't have even left home. Look at these straps are good. We're gonna have to take a whole hour just to get these bikes off because we strapped it too damn good. Loading motorcycles into the back of a truck is a skill and even professionals like us have dropped bikes before. So if you guys want a video on this subject specifically, stay tuned. We'll probably pop one out. Perfecto. You got it? We're in Bakersfield, boy. Yeah. About to have some good, good motorcycle riding. Just let me, let me set up Do the you, camera real quick. Be careful with the cops. You're on your own. Fuck you mean I'm on my own? I'm yeah. with you, but now I know, but you're on your own when it you're comes supposed to, to bail me and out and pay half. I know, but. <laughs> Nothing like a nice motorcycle ride to wake you up. See, so yeah, that was like a three hour drive. Now we're gonna get it. Ah! Let's go! <laughs> Bakersfield hits different. Oh, uh, he's trying to go. Cruise control over the railroad tracks or what? Oh, wow. It was a nice nut shot. My pops denies the beauty of cruise control, so I have to take every chance I get to show him its full glory. <laughs> he persists on remaining unimpressed, though. In the ghetto. Tell me if you've ever seen a gas tank like that. Shit. You just put it straight in like a car. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Ow. No, don't, don't fill it up all the way. Just leave it like that. We'll be in the mountains and stuff, so you can pee wherever you want, pal. We'll go to the world's biggest toilet. Hey. Breckenridge. Breckenridge. Like Brecken, Breck, Brecken, Broke. Are you checking out that tomato over there? And then we keep going until we get to bodfish. Anyways, I'll let you know. Let's go. Here at the Enthusiast List, we like to start the trips with prepared, controlled sketchiness. So that we're ready for any unexpected sketchiness that we find along the way. <laughs> he got stuck at the intersection. Nah, he's coming, he's coming. Hey, yo! Yo! One, two, three, go! And of course, I had to establish firepower superiority real quick.
This is why I love filming these videos. Random memories like these were the romance of being alive and witnessing something new, like a movie scene being played out just for you in real life. I could relive this moment a hundred times and still be in love with it. Dude, I feel like I'm in a movie right now. I'm not used to seeing oil, oil fields on the left and then orange trees on the right, man. The freedom and the majesty of it all. Videos cannot portray this. This is something to be experienced for yourself. That's right. This was just a sneak preview of what was to come. Then guys, well, we just get to it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this was a warning shot that this was not a road built with sport bikes in mind. I joke, but realistically, if you hit that at speed and with a lean angle, then your ride ends right there. Pay attention to the scenery as you watch along and watch as it changes from Dr. Seuss style cow hills to a forest in a matter of just minutes. <laughs> Let me take a picture for my mom. Brah, 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 brah. Look at all these hills, dude. Yeah, nice. It's gonna look a weird road. Every now and then it has dead squirrels and shit. Open land, as far as your eyes can see. In all yeah. directions, look at that. That's true, it's weird. I can see four miles, ten miles. I can see four miles, ten miles. Ten miles. You ready to start remembering directions? Go straight, 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 straight. Don't get us lost. It's my fault. <laughs> Let's go. Short bank forward. Pay attention to the road as well. You can't see very well, but you can hear the number of potholes on this road was absurd. It felt like we took sport bikes to Afghanistan. I feel like he's gonna overcook that corner too. Where you at, Sal? Wow, this is really cool. 
miles on this road, so. potholes on this road made line selection almost even more entertaining well I mean until you hit one obviously I'm not usually one to get spooked, but I remember that spooked me a little. <laughs> but it didn't slow me down. At this point in the video, I have to remind you guys that it is stupid to ride like this in such a sketchy and secluded area. I am, however, protected by God at all times. I cannot say the same for you, so don't do this, please. This is the first time the mountain sent trees to greet us as we gained altitude. And if you pay attention, this is where the scenery starts to shift dramatically as we make our ascent into a seemingly different world. It's a different world, but it's still the same shit ass road. If you search it up on Google Maps, this is Milano Ranch on Breckenridge Mountain Road, and it's way out there, so that you guys can get an idea of where we were at this point in time. Nice, it's nice and slow. I don't like nice and slow. It's all about potholes. It looks like Zacatecas Road. Yeah, no, it does. But it's, it's okay, I mean. The cows look pretty though. Yeah, it's nice. See, this, this road is it's poorly maintained because there's only a, a, maybe 10 cowboys go by here every every single day. Every year, maybe, every year. Yeah, 10 cowboys in a freaking F 150. It's nice, different. Yeah, it is. It's, it's I've never seen any place that looks like this, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a... It's like my hands is like going here and going there, it's like <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's like going numb? 
Breaking, getting down, breaking, getting down. That's the puddle and that's this. Yeah. Like it. Hopefully there's a way to get out of this damn road. Hopefully. Ready to go? Let's go. Uh -oh. surfing for a little bit there. It is strange to see after just a couple corners, the trees explode into fully grown pines. Their full fall colors on full display, yellows, oranges, and vibrant greens as they cheer you in. Damn, bugs are feeling a little cheerful too though. Fucking shit, hold up. Yeah, there's like little flies or something and fucking ow. You have one in the back and that's it. This is ironic, but what a beautiful place to get blinded by little flies. This mountain keeps changing. Yeah. Like what it looks like, it's weird. At this point, we are at the mountain summit, embraced by its full glory as we slow down to take in the color splashed warm views. You could not have picked a more perfect time of year and time of day to ride on this road. Well guys, that's all for today. Thanks for coming in and checking in on us. If you guys want to see the completion of this adventure as we ride back on Bodfish Road through the meadows of this mountain range, then subscribe and we look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks for checking in. Bates.